Welcome to the Setup Basic and Easy Cat tutorial for using a fiber laser for the first time. After you've had the machine already set up, this will kind of teach you a little bit of the basics of some of the ins and outs of the program and getting your first file loaded uh, so that way you can start engraving as soon as possible. So let's get some protective glasses on and go ahead and get started. Included with your fiber laser machine should be a USB stick. The USB stick has EasyCAD software on there, which you'll actually need to communicate from your computer and send some files down to your fiber laser machine. So let's get that USB stick plugged in. Uh, let's open up the application and launch the program for the first time and start messing around with it. So the first thing we wanna do is adjust our focal length. The focal length is the distance from your lens to the material that you're engraving. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go ahead and make a square. Um, and inside that square, we're going to go ahead and fill that. So let's click on this H that's up there. That's our hatch button. Uh, in the hatch menu, you'll see that there's a couple different options to choose from. Uh, we're just going to use hatch one for now just to go ahead and get started. Um, and basically, when you click OK, you'll see that box starts to fill in. Uh, and that'll engrave everything that's inside that box. On the right side, you'll see that there are some adjustments you can make. Uh, the only one we're gonna do right now is we're gonna change the loop count. So uncheck the default param, change your loop count to two or three, just gives us some time to basically make adjustments. Um, and then what we're gonna do is run the red laser. So you'll see down below, there's a button called red. You can either press F1 um, or you could just go ahead and click that. So I ended up actually setting up the square a little bit too far to the left. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back into the program, uh, drag that box over to the right side, um, hopefully over the material. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like this is just a test run, we're trying to get the focal distance correct. So um, now that it's over there, I'm going to go back to the program, uh, I'm going to hit the, the mark button, which is right next to the red button. Um, and once it starts engraving, you'll see the red line moving back and forth. There's an adjustment bar at the top of your fiber laser. Um, if you swirl left or right, uh, it'll actually move your laser head, the lens, up or down, closer or farther away to the material. So this will be your focal distance. So once it's engraving, you'll actually notice and hear a difference in sound too. And right when it's getting to that kind of higher pitched noise, that's like the, the perfect distance basically. So now that we have the focal distance, let's actually calibrate the red dot pointer. Um, we want to make sure that that is, the laser is hitting exactly where that red dot is. So let's do another square. This time, instead of using the hatch button, um, we're just going to leave it as an outline. And then, you know, we'll, we'll click the red button and see where that lays down and then hit the mark button and that'll be where it places. Immediately after hitting that mark button, go ahead and hit the red button again, and you'll see that it's actually off a little bit. So we're gonna make adjustments to that. Down below, you'll see a parameters tab. Go ahead and click that. Go to the other tab, and then you'll see red dot pointer, and that's where we'll make our adjustments. So click that. You'll see an X and Y that's left or right or up and down. Uh, for us, it was a little bit off to the side, so it's our X. I'm gonna go ahead and put a negative three in there and then um, exit out of there by pressing OK. That'll save my settings. And then um, let's see what it looks like with the red dot again and if it matches up where my mark was. So here comes the red and it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run another marking test and then um, do the red test again, the, the red dot and see how that looks. So let's see, there's my mark and then let's test the red. And it looks pretty spot on. So that's how you make adjustments to the red dot pointer if you ever need to calibrate it. So let's go ahead and move on here. We're going to import a bitmap image this time. Um, and let's go ahead, we'll try one of my old business cards here. We're already kind of working on metal business cards for testing. So uh, this will work perfect for an example. Um, we're gonna use the same exact settings as we used before. Um, we'll do three passes just to make sure it hits it pretty nicely. And let's go ahead and line up the image on the material by pressing that red button again. So now that the red dot's going, I'm just gonna make sure it's centered here 
and it looks pretty good. So before I start engraving it, I'm actually going to experiment with some new settings here. So I'm gonna change the speed to 2000 millimeters a second, uh, increase the power to 95, and then also I'm gonna change the frequency. So if you take a look, you need to make sure the dot pattern is a little closer together. So when you increase the speed, it actually spreads out the amount of dots it pulses while it's moving back and forth. So you need to adjust the frequency to kind of match your speed. So now that that's adjusted, let's go ahead and start engraving. Nicely centered on the card and also very crisp clean lines so this is a result of a red dot pointer that's accurate and also the correct focal distance all right let's try a vector file let's go to file import vector and i have a naruto image that i want to use so i'm going to go ahead and open that up you'll see the preview down below that's the right one so now that it's loaded, um, it's a little off to the side. I'm gonna center that on my, my workspace here. You'll see that it's actually just a bunch of line work right now. Um, so we're gonna revisit what we first learned and that's the hatch button. So let's click that big H up top. So you'll see there are three different hatches you can choose from. Each one kind of has a different way of filling in. So, you know, if you enable it, you'll kind of see the pattern it goes in. Some are a little more zigzag. Some of them just kind of go in like a, you know, a big square um, all the way to the center. Uh, but it's definitely worth trying all of them out and seeing for yourself which one you like. Um, but I'm just going to stick with hatch one for now. So once you've picked your hatch setting, uh, you'll notice that it filled in and it looks kind of closer to what you're going for. Um, go ahead and make your adjustments for the size. I'm using kind of a metal business card, which is two inches wide. So I'm gonna do a little bit less than 50 millimeters just to give me some space around the edge. And then on the right side, just play with your settings. Uh, by now you've kind of got an idea of what you like. I'm just gonna stick with a default for now. Um, and then of course, before I actually start engraving, let's use that red dot pointer just to center it on the material. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start marking from there. And there you have it. This is centered on the card, great. Uh, it's also got very crisp and clean edges. Uh, this is the perfect example of the correct focal distance and also a red dot pointer that's calibrated correctly. That's it for the basics of EasyCAD. Um, hopefully this gets your foot in the right direction. Try experimenting with different speeds and powers as well as frequencies and see what works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.